Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Nikita Devude. I am a digital marketing executive at Crave Infotech. Before we getting started, I'm going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speaker. Firstly, if you wish to ask any question to presenter, we have Q&A section and chat feature enabled. We will also be launching a poll question in today's webinar. We invite you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen. We will have Q&A session at the end of the webinar to answer your questions. Now I would like to welcome Murli and Ashwin. We are glad you could be here today to share your insights on webinar, how to save 90% of time and resources with SAP Intelligent RPA. Murli is a sales and operations director for Crave Operations in India. During his 20 plus years of industry serving, he has handled and executed multiple automation projects for pharma, manufacturing, engineering, healthcare, and IT industries. At present, he is working closely with various automation projects in India. We also have Ashwin with us. He is SAP Solution Architect, SAP BTP at Crave Infotech with 10 plus years of industry experience. He has worked in solutioning and product development for implementing various SAP BTP and mobility based solutions for life sciences, pharma, utilities, retail, fleet management, healthcare, medical billing, manufacturing, and logistics. His expertise include SAP BTP, S4 HANA, Fury, IRPA, HANA DB, and CAI. Now, without further ado, I would like to hand over to Murli to start with the presentation. Over to you, Murli. Hello. Uh, thank you, Nikita. Thanks for the intro. And welcome you all for today's webinar on ACP IRPA. And we will be showing a couple of use cases, the uh, demonstration of the uh, use cases uh, successfully completed at uh, some of the customers. So, um, uh, welcome you all in today's webinar. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, because people are joining from different geographies in this webinar. Um, so uh, before uh, we jump to today's subject of the webinar, I just wanted to take this opportunity quickly to brief you about the organization, quickly take you through the Crave Infotech, uh, who we are, what we do, our uh, short profile. Uh, so, uh, and I'll do this in just few, few slides and we'll um, hand over further to my colleague, uh, Mr. Ashwin, who will be uh, discussing mainly on the uh, SAP IRPA use cases and the demonstration. So, this um, slide talks about the journey of Crave Infotech. Uh, we are 13 years old organization, operational from 2007. Uh, working closely with SAP right from our inception from 2008 and from 2008 to 2021 in the last 13 years we have uh, worked uh, on several assignments uh, along with SAP mainly for SAP customers also for non-SAP customers as well but I talk more mainly on SAP because we are um, associated with them from last 13 years so during this journey in fact we um, in 2010 we expanded globally uh, in 2012 we uh, came up with our own solutions in enterprise mobility and digital transformation in 16 we launched uh, certain solutions which were um, now available on sap app center as well and um, we, during this journey we also won multiple awards like sap's uh, sap pinnacle um, finalist SAP um, um, in in uh, in the SAP space. So um, and we are growing with team size in 2021. So before briefing on the solutions of the Crave Infotech, I have wanted to just take your quick attention on this slide. Uh, what we have observed at marketplace, more than 70% of the organizations, and this this is a pro, uh, uh, based on survey of McKinsey, 70% uh, of the organizations they fail when 
um they try to develop the solution on their own instead of taking the expertise from externally and that is mainly because the roi is of course low because you are not uh, expert in this area because your core business is something else uh, of course that um, end, ends up with uh, extremely high deployment time due to build from scratches right uh, standardization um a uh, lack of standardization because we are working only on our project and we do not have the industry based practices exposure so all those things uh, matter a lot when we try to develop a solution on our own for the organizations especially when software is not our core business and that is why the, um, the partner like crave um, plays a very vital role uh, from this uh, perspective because we um, come up with the 70% lower total uh, cost of product ownership reduce deployment time big way by almost 80% come up with the industry 4.0 5.0 future proof solutions uh, then we also come up with the fda compliant products and uh, solutions because we work in pharma industry we work in uh, food processing industry and different industries as per the different norms compliances we come up with the needful solution so this is just quick a uh, summary of the organization we have 15 plus years of experience um 150 plus team size we work in niche area so that is why if you look at the team size it's around 150 200 is really good team size for us then um have worked with uh, more than um, 50 plus pre package solutions we have um and if you look at right hand side this is these are the partners we are working closely with sap we are working with zebra which is um, mobile computing devices manufacturer global leader uh, we are also partnered with here technology have need full certifications from uh, industry point of view from quality point of view for the various projects and solutions development and um, also uh, as i mentioned various awards over here then we have just given a brief of that as well so about the uh, organizational offerings these are the focused vertical business verticals we have intelligent asset management intelligent warehouse management supply chain digital supply chain business technology platform which is uh, the focused initiative today sap has and uh, intelligent enterprise in which mainly you know sap services all the services are sap services so when we talk about intelligent asset management it is the complete portfolio in plant maintenance including right from preventive to um, breakdown general maintenance and uh, surrounded various modules and um, objects then intelligent warehouse management here we come up with complete end to end warehouse management uh, uh, activity for the organizations uh, in digital and i will i will talk more on that so before uh, taking to the complete portfolio of the organization it is uh, the, the normally the way we work or the maturity model what we talk about when we come up with our solution this is we uh, the, we have observed most of the organizations they are in a mode of, uh, of reactive approach when they talk about any solution so the partner like crave help them for reactive to preventive and then condition based predictive approach so uh, we when when we talk about our solution when we talk about our products we take you through this from reactive to predictive uh, way so these are uh, the focused verticals we work mainly in life science utilities water oil and gas manufacturing cpg and these are some of the names to our credit if you see we are working with uh, global as well as uh, national giants in various uh, um, segments so um, uh, as i talked about the products um, intelligent warehouse management field service and supply chain asset management e log book 
these are some of the solution solutions and products at the same time about services we work we work mainly in sap space so um, including resource augmentation sap btp enablement fury enablement uh, mobile application development uh, customized applications for the organizations smp to uh, btp mobile services and so on so these are the services so we work in services as well as products and this is the complete uh, portfolio of the organization all these pre packaged solutions are available on sap app center uh, they are developed in fury so get integrated directly with your sap back end erp uh, we of course these solutions are available for non sap customers as well and we work for non sap customers as well so this is the, the short um brief about uh, the crave uh, corporate services what we are what uh, who uh, and what we do so coming to today's agenda today we'll be discussing mainly the need of robotic process automation technologies future proof process excellence through sap irpa we have uh, we will be discussing couple of use cases probably ashwin will cover maybe uh, ca also in this uh, during this uh, if the time permits and the application demo and then q and a so uh, um, uh, over to you ashwin you can take from here yeah sure thank you murli uh, hello good afternoon everyone uh, this is ashwin and uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about the sap irpa uh, and a uh, couple use cases around it and if time permits we will also talk about sap conversational ai is one of the service offering uh, of sap intelligent um, uh, services so i won't take much time on uh, explaining what is rpa right it's one of the sap is a, a tool uh, which is a part of their artificial intelligence uh, uh, services so it basically cons consists of like sap irpa uh, sap conversational ai then we have intelligent application and machine learning so um, i think uh, murli can probably I, i can probably share my screen and then I'll start presenting if you don't mind yeah so i'll sh uh, share my screen first i'll probably also do demo so i'll be taking over uh hope my screen is visible uh, yes yes yeah we can see your screen sure thank you so the first use case we're going to talk about is the accrual automation uh this is one of the use case we have performed with a um uh, one uh, customer uh, for their finance department so uh, this involves uh, collecting accrual data for um, different department and then collaborating it and uh, processing it uh, at find into the sap so this is one example where um, they have like around 60 62 departments which um, where they need to collect the data manually which which involves manual uh, effort which is uh, so time consuming activity then they have to go through each uh, uh, accrual details and validate that before they process into sap so in order to uh, uh, solve this issue and to automate the process uh, we have used sap irpa and with the sap irpa we have created couple of bots uh, um which works uh, uh to automate this process so what they do is they are uh, like uh so first thing they they do is they receive the details uh from the different department so it can be received through email or it can be received or read from a file folder structure so for example uh, there are 60 different templates so it did all the 63 different templates collaborate into a final sheet format or a template which can be uh, uh, then further processed to the system for uh, data validation so once this details have uh, extracted from the excel so um, we have uh, created a um, like a program or bapi log uh, in sap and we are calling that through a bapi which basically validates the details uh, 
which are there in your accrual sheet with the uh, uh, the invoice details, which is there in SAP system. So while it does that, so uh, it makes sure like the details which you are pushing or storing into a uh, system, which is uh, like a, a Z table, uh, these are validated details and um, then only we are pushing it. If there is any uh, um, any deviation from the details that has been in the, the uh, template and the uh, invoice in the system, or PO in the system, uh, then we are um, creating a kind of log and sending it to the respective details. Uh, department. So with this, uh, we are basically improving the uh, uh, business uh, uh, execution time, reducing the workload and making sure like uh, there is less errors uh, during the process. So earlier, this process used to take around four days. Every month, end of, end of month, they have to perform it. Now it can be done within like 10 to 15 minutes and uh, with uh, accuracy. Uh, with that, I'll quickly jump on to a, a demo, quick demo of this uh, use case. So we have a recorded session for this use case. So this is the objective, like uh, to improve their existing uh, financial process and reduce the uh, manual errors and uh, take a reduce the workload of their de finance department. The same thing that we have talked about talked to. Uh, the resolution is same, like we have created a couple of parts, which uh, like uh, di perform different operation, like reading from Excel to validate data into and pushing into SAP and create, creating the final um, accrual based on the JV upload program. So it is basically reducing the workload for the finance team, uh, fast processing time, input data quality, and um, reducing the time duration from like four to 10 minutes. So yeah, from here, the actual demonstration starts. So here, if you see, uh, this is one of the sample for the <laughs> accrual template. So it has a couple of details, uh, the columns like purchase order, contract, WPS, GL, and there are vendor details. Um, and there their currency and so on, there are other fields. So what we are doing is we are uh, reading these details, which is coming in Excel format. And then uh, at the meantime, we are storing that detail into SAP once it's read it. Um, um, and why storing into SAP table, we are va like validating it and creating a SCS, so, or, or we call it a service entry sheet into the um, uh, table. So I'll just go to that. So this is template, uh, we'll just close this template and then we'll go back to the email just to show you like uh, uh, currently there is no uh, mail that is received. So once all this operation has been like a uh, read operation has been performed, you'll be receiving an email with the details. What are the um, accrual that has been processed? If there's any fail, failure with the accrual, then you'll get the notification for sale. This is a Z table and currently it's empty where the uh, data which uh, will be stored as after reading the data from Excel and validation and after uh, creating SES, the final data will be stored here. So then we're going to do the next operation after that. So we're going to run the first bot is to run the uh, Excel. So um, the Excel read is being happening in background. So it's open the Excel in small kind of notification. And once you read it, it will close it. And then um, the response is also written in the Excel and you'll see that in your email. So once you go back to your email uh, my mailbox, you'll see that uh, there is an email received with the um, output of your automation. So you can open this and you can see there are uh, line items which tells about the uh, the table where we are writing data is up successfully or not. If there is any uh, deviation from the uh, approval input sheet and the system data, so it will give you the error there. So now we can go back to table and if you run it, you'll see that all the data is be processed and stored into SAP uh, with the two additional rows, which is SES entry, <laughs> which was not there in the actual Excel template. So this service entry is basically calculated based on the uh, like difference in the, uh, uh, the approval amount. So for that, we have written um, um, some uh, ABAP program, which is being called behind the scene while we run the bot. And that is being called through uh, BAPI. 
So there are different ways like, through which you can call SAP programs, like you can call BAPI, you can call API, or you can also run the uh, GUI automation. So, uh, so now we'll run the next part. So that uh, the next part uh, basically is a GUI automation. So this is our whole process will be done through BART, will be uh, through GUI automation. So in this step, what we'll do is we'll gonna go to that table and create a template. So that template is a JV upload program template. So the JV upload program has specific format and that data needs to be put into specific format. So that's why we created a program and the bot run that program and it will download the template. So once that downloaded, we can uh, just to have a, a kind of a final check before it goes into uh, actual system or uh, processing. Uh, you can go and validate that um, as a as a check. Uh, okay, so yeah. So this is the um, kind of a JB upload template which has uh, your credit and debit both kind of uh, details. So now uh, the last activity will run the third part. Uh, the third part uh, will take this template and upload that into the JV upload program. So now we'll close this again and our bot was like stop here at the screen in the SAP GUI. So it is kind of, I can say attended kind of session of uh, automation where some steps are being performed by bot and then you need uh, some manual interaction from uh, one of the user kind of validation. So you can use attended kind of bot. And once it's validated, you can go back and run the bot again. So we'll go back and run the, the third bot to upload the details to JV uh, program. So it will again go back to the, the transaction for JVL upload program and uh, it will process it. It's processing. Yeah, so this is the output for that. And just to validate that, we can see that our batch, what, what was being processed. This was one example uh, for um, RPA automation and for, with the approval automation use case. I'll go to the next use case. Uh, oh yeah, I think um, is the invoice extraction and posting. So it is uh, similar uh, with the similar customer, but uh, uh, and for the same finance department here as well. Uh, we are uh, like processing. Um, the invoice invoices or uh, which is coming from different vendors uh, on the email or the mailbox of the uh, customer. So uh, there are many vendors every day they send different different uh, like uh, invoices. So um, what finance department has to do is they have to go that go through their invoices uh, manually read the read through the data validate the details like. For example, the PO number or the uh, um, uh, the GRN number or their uh, um, uh, uh, bank guarantee details. So they have to go through it, make sure that all the validate or uh, um, validate and matches with the vendor details which is in the system. If there is any deviation, then they need to revert back this invoice to the vendor again and ask him to the correct and send it back. So. This is something which they are doing manually now. So in order to automate that, we have created a couple of parts in SAP, uh, with SAP IRPA. What it does is it reads the invoices through the OCR capability. So SAP uh, IRPA comes with the default OCR uh, capability, uh, which helps to read the PDFs uh, to a certain extent. If there are very complex PDFs uh, or images kind of uh, that yet you want to scan, scan you can use third party OCI then integrated with uh, IRPA, but uh, out of the box, SAP IRPA gives you capability to scan the PDFs uh, and the details. So with that, we are reading the details from the uh, invoices and then extracting the required details uh, and then uh, validating that with SAP. And at last, if all details are valid, then we are posting that invoice to the SAP. So uh, this is this whole process, like earlier used to take two, three hours uh, for going through each invoice and reading and posting it into SAP. It can be done in a few minutes. And it can also be uh, done with the uh, um, concurrently multiple sessions you can do instead of going through one by one invoice.
So this is kind of a high level workflow for this use case. So uh, we are receiving invoices on Outlook and then we are extracting detail through OCR. It could be like uh, any OCR, SAP, you can use SAP IRPS, OCR capability, or if you have a complex scenario, then you can use third party OCR. We are re retrieving the details, uh, details in kind of metadata format and uh, pushing it to SAP using Papi uh, call. Uh, you can also do API or UI automation as well. With that, while we're pushing it to SAP, we're doing some validation check. The validation we are doing and on the successful validation, we are parking that to the SAP and triggering the workflow. So these are the, uh, this is kind of high level workflow uh, for the scenario. So with that, I'll just quickly jump on to the quick uh, demo of this. So this is something I just talked through. I quickly jump on to the main demo. Yeah. So this is the one example of the invoice. So that has been received. So yeah, this is one example. So we're gonna retrieve like some details like PO, uh, the GST number, item and uh, amount. So to extract that, we'll run the uh, first bot to uh, extract the PDF details using OCR. Consider that uh, just for um, notification purpose, we have showing we have created a uh, notification here with showing the details which are being extracted from the invoice. And uh, yeah, once that is done, uh, we can uh, run the next part to upload that to SAP. So once you click on that, it will uh, basically store that has stored data into the metadata. So that will be then passed to the SAP uh, to the Papi call, which can be part. So we can go back and uh, check on to the email. Yeah, so this is the auto generated email, which comes from to make sure that the invoice which has been processed has been um, valid details and send it to the uh, respective department. If it is invalid, then we can send it back to the vendor. And this is the part invoice, which is into the asset. These are the two uh, general use cases I talked about around SAP IRPA. I'll quickly um, go through one more use case, uh, which is a combination of SAP IRPA and uh, conversational AI, the CEI. So uh, this might be a, a like um, long use case, but I try, try to keep it short. So here, what we are doing is uh, we have created a conversational AI or chatbot, uh, sorry, a chatbot using SAP CI technology. So with this, uh, this helps uh, the users. They have like a particular use case where they have a user which are on, uh, uh, which are not in office and uh, uh, they are like uh, on, on the run, on the go. So they have to apply leave, they have to check their leaves or <laughs> they have to do uh, other operations. Um, so we, instead of having um, um, a mobile app for that of, uh, activity, so, uh, but we have provided them to have a, a kind of chatbot. So <laughs> it will be uh, interactive, uh, less input actually they have to in, uh, provide. And the another good feature that we added there is the multilingual. So that chatbot support multilingual capability, like you can interact with that bot with uh, uh, I think three different languages in the English and I think probably Tamil. So if you can add any language which are there available in the Google Translate because we have used Google Translate as a, as a, uh, um, a translator to translate any language that is being provided, but a specific use case we had three. So um we have uh, in demo we'll be able to three but we'll just quickly skip through so this is um uh, we are looking first at the leave management so if uh, this is the fury launch pad of the user like for example uh, this is to show like uh, their leave quota so if he's in office then he can go into flp and he can <coughs> sorry uh, see his when he can apply his leave but if if not then uh yeah so if not then he can use the uh, the employee engagement bot. So this bot can be integrated with uh, um, 
available social media platforms like WhatsApp, uh, Telegram, and uh, Slack. You can also integrate with Teams, uh, also WhatsApp Messenger. So in this demo, we are showing with Telegram. <coughs> so the, the interaction basically starts with uh, uh, you have to uh, just create the bot like you say the hi hey there. So it will basically first thing it will gonna ask you the language in which you wanted to interact or uh, communicate with the bot. So um, you can select with any of the four um, language. So for example, you first select let's say select English. So once you select the English language, uh, the further communication will start in the English. So first thing you have to do is, uh, example, we are doing apply leave. Then it will gonna ask you your employee ID. And then uh, second thing is, uh, well, as soon as uh, you enter employee ID, it will gonna send you a note uh, OTP on your mobile number. So, um, so we have instead of uh, using the username and password, we have uh, included the OTP mechanism. So it automatically find out the number from the system and send it OTP to your number. Once you enter the OTP, it will authenticate you and then it will show you the available your holidays, privileges, what is, what is available there. So if you say the privilege leave, then it will go and uh, ask you the next detail, like whether you apply for one or one day or less or more than a day. So you can select that. So it's kind of uh, a, a guided tour. You don't have to write type much thing. You just have to select, for example, you select duration first half. You can enter the date for that, for which duration you wanted to apply. And with all the details, yeah. So then you can type, you can, you can enter the type, select type of reason, whether it's sick leave or personal leave. You can uh, select that. Uh, then you can, then at last, if you're gonna ask whether you wanted to uh, really wanted to sure uh, apply the leave or not. If now, if you say yes, then you're gonna apply the leave. If you say no. Then you will get option, uh, the following option. You can either change the duration, you can, either you can change the leave time, you can cancel the whole operation. But yeah, I'll skip through that because it will be long. Uh, if you wanted to again go through that, all steps. Uh, so at the last, when you say yes, then it will be, leave will be applied successfully. So now I'll just quickly also walk you through with the different languages. This, like for example, this time if you select, uh, uh, languages Hindi. And yeah, so this time we see language of the Hindi, then it will gonna start communicating with you in the Hindi language. So then rest of the flow will stay same, but the language will gonna change. Same with, with the other two languages. So this is one example I wanted to show you about uh, the uh, SAP conversational AI. So yeah, when you go back to your launch pad, you'll be able to see like just for like uh, demonstration purpose, you'll be able to see the leaves are applied. With that, I think I'll stop the demonstration and go to the next slide. So this uh, slide uh, shows about the solution overview about the SAP IRPA. So the SAP IRPA uh, consists of three main um, components. One is the SAP Desktop Studio, uh, one is the Cloud Factory and a Desktop Agent. So now uh, the Desktop Studio uh, is, uh, the, is kind of a development platform where we do the actual development. And uh, it comes with uh, two different uh, Flavor now, earlier it was desktop studio. Now they also have launched the uh, cloud version of it. Uh, the cloud factory is the orchestration or the place where all the uh, automation has been stored and saved. And the desktop agent is the area where, which basically interacts or goes on your system. So all the pro program that you have developed, 
or the automation that you have developed will be pushed to the desktop agent and can run through on your system. For example, if, if you have write up automation for GUI, then uh, the agent on your system can run the GUI automation. The SAP application and non-application are the different uh, uh, interaction uh, like uh, areas where you can interact. And uh, um, so, for example, for SAP, there are standard APIs. This is SAP tool. It gives you stand out of the box standard interfaces available to interact with, like for success factor, Aripa, Conquer, and Finglass, and other. As well as you can also interact with the non-SAP tools like uh, Excel, Word, uh, any any browser-based application. I think uh, yeah, I think that's all I have. One yeah, I think the last thing which I wanted to discuss about is the uh, SAP IRPA store. I'll probably just quickly jump on to that and to show you uh, the SAP IRPA store. So this is another um, good feature that brings uh, with the SAP IRPA is the out of the box standard. Um, uh, readily available bots so you can, you can go here store.icp.com you can also uh, do a trial with your system it gives you trial uh, version as well and you can download the available standard packages for example just take an example of create sales inquiry right so you can uh, download this bot and integrate with your system uh, without any additional development uh, uh, and which you can test it out and probably if if you think any additional thing any changes needed you can also leverage this package and customize and uh, use it. This is a very good feature available there. So there are around like 300, 400 standard bots available or packages available, which you can leverage and uh, uh, um, use in your existing environment. It is for like ECC S4 as well as S4 on cloud. I think there are a couple of also there for Ariba system. Um, I think these are the standard things. Yeah, I think that's all. Uh, Murli, that's all I think I have. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Ashwin. Uh, this I was a really insightful yes. uh, demo and explanation of ACP IRPA and um, the uh, applications. So, yeah, yeah, so there are a few questions. Uh, in the meantime, yeah. I request uh, Nikita. She has a, uh, she'll be running one question poll for the audience. Yeah. I'll probably quickly go through these questions. Uh, okay, yeah. By the time, uh, so we're going through poll. So the, the first question is the table displayed was the table. Does this mean SAP has no standard table such as an RPA must all tables be developed? Uh, yeah, so SAP RPA is uh, out, like outside outside SAP tool, right? If uh, we have created Z table just to uh, store our data as a temporary basis, and then wait till later we can be used in the actual program. Um, yeah so um, okay so the security is uh, is, comp is same as sap because if you are running a bot um, using uh, sap user so uh, all the rules and authorization which is relies with that user uh, will apply while running the bot so when you run a bot you need to maintain the credentials of that user into cloud factory it will be basically secured encrypted into like as256 format uh, so whenever you run a bot it will take that credential and it will run the automation so whatever credentials author authorization and roles you have that user with that user it will apply to that bot as well uh, such as modern mandarin herbu and hindi um i not sure i need to uh, get back to you on the, this question. Um, I think I haven't seen with Hindi or Herbu. I, I, I need to get back to you on this question. So we can take this action item and we'll, we'll let you know. This, so uh, Ashwin, think, yeah. Ashwin, there is one more. Uh, does the SAP OCR recognize non, oh, so that, that you covered. Yeah, that is the question, yeah. So that, I think there are two more here. Correct, correct, yeah. So, it has it says this package can be integrated with SAP Direct without any development. Yes, the standard store bots uh, are developed in such a way so it can be directly integrated with SAP without any development. Uh, it only just configuration. Like for example, if you are running it from for your system, then you have to maintain uh, this the client ID. Uh, you have to maintain uh, it, 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 it's a system with a specific configuration like plant. If you are doing it for a specific plant, 
so then that you need to maintain but yeah you can directly integrate um integration challenges faced by your development team okay i think uh, uh i i think we haven't faced any uh, technical critical challenge that is basically show stopper uh for us okay okay so uh, thanks thanks ashwin for uh, taking all questions so um, i request audience to uh, i hope nikita people have already responded to the rpa yes. poll right yeah yeah okay. the poll questions are still on if uh, anyone is interested or uh, they can answer the poll questions and if any of your like questions are not answered uh, you can contact us on contact at craveinfotech.com yeah yeah so for the sake of convenience the questions do you see any manual repetitive high volume activity where rpa can play a significant role you have to just say yes or no are you exploring any or planning to digitalize any process using rpa solution and would you like to have detailed discussion one on one discussion with our rpa team for the solution so please let us know please connect us at uh, as mentioned by nikita contact at craveinfotech.com and you please answer these questions as well so that we can reach out to you so i think uh, with this nikita uh, is there any further question or should we uh... we have one question from satish i think timeline for roll out of any process so it depends yeah it depends on the complexity of the uh, solution to be uh, the things to be automated but it takes from few weeks to maybe uh, use case by use case maybe a couple of months from a couple of weeks to a couple of months yeah i think Depend- the the use case which we have shown it takes around like 6 weeks 4 to 6 weeks yeah yeah I think that was the last question. So uh, we are done for to, uh, today's webinar. We can end now. Thanks, everyone. Uh, I'm ending the webinar. Thank okay. you. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks yes. everybody. And you can reach out to us for any further queries. Yes. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.